Hello friends and welcome to Woofboxing, the channel all about the Woofbox. Today I'm going to cover 10 tips for new Woofbox owners. This video assumes that you know the basics of how to navigate the Woofbox, but if you don't, I will link the Woofbox track from scratch video in the description. First of all, big congratulations on getting your Woofbox. I hope this magical little box brings you as much joy as it has brought me. Let's get started. Tip number one, how to change the master volume. You change the master volume by holding play and turning the encoder. Tip number two, you can quickly go back to the sequencer from any of the sequencer pages by just clicking the encoder. And if you wanna get back to where you were, you can click it again. Tip number three, you can add steps to the sequencer from any of the sequencer pages. So let's say that I'm on the kick track and I mess around with the oscillator one settings. I can still hold right and put some kicks down. Tip number four. While on the sequencer page, if you hold down a step, the next step you put down will be the same note. So if I wanted to quickly copy this note to these three steps, I can just hold it down and then put it down. Same with this one. Tip number five is how to live record. You hold right and press play. I'll say rec. It also works while it's playing. So let's say this is playing. I can hold right, press play. Tip number six is to use the per step menu. You access it by holding down a step and then clicking the encoder to navigate the various parameter. And then you change that parameter by turning the encoder. Bonus tip with this one is that you can select multiple steps. So let's say you hold the first step down. When it's blinking, you hold right and then you can multi-select. So now I can change all of these steps to a different note. Tip number seven is always look in the context menu. Many of the Woofbox pages will have a context menu. You access it by holding right and clicking the encoder. You can continue to click the encoder to browse the various options. If you want to select one, you press and hold. There are often very useful features in the context menu, so don't forget to check it out. One of the ones I like is this one, random pattern. Here we go. Tip number eight is about the chord keyboard. The chord keyboard is devised in two different keyboards, the top one and the bottom one. On both keyboards, the top right key actually changes the type of chord that it is. So right now we're in major. I can hit it to get a minor and all kinds of different chords. And they're completely separate. So right now, let's say I'm using minor on the top and augmented on the bottom. So I have my minor chords up here and my augmented chords on the bottom keyboard. Tip number nine is how to automatically create a four bar pattern. Let's say 16 steps is not enough and you wanna live record a four bar pattern. Navigate to the pattern page by turning the encoder until it says pattern and then enter the context menu by holding right, clicking the encoder until you see chain four. Then press and hold the encoder it will say okay. And now you'll see that when I play, two, three, four. There you go. And last but not least, tip 10 is how to change patches and patch types. So from the sequencer page, Turn the encoder all the way to the right until it says patch. And then you can hold down any keys that are lit, except for 16, to select a different patch. 16 will revert to the patch that you had selected when you entered the patch page. To change these to a different type of presets, you can go to the global page. You hold key number six. This says sound category, and you can change the 
preset category. So for example, right now I'm selecting ARP and I can go to the patch page and load any of the Arpeggio presets. If you find that your new preset is playing either too high or too low, you can hold key number two on the global page and change the transposition settings to whatever you want. And this is the end of this video. If you want more in-depth information, please check out my other videos. If you have any questions or would like to see something in a future video, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here and ciao ciao!